Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today I am going to discuss about classification of IC engine. IC engine is classified in number of ways. First, according to types of fuel use. Next, according to the number of strokes per cycle. Next, according to the thermodynamic cycle. Next, according to the method of ignition. Next, according to the method of cooling. Next, according to the mobility of governing. Next, according to the speed of engine. Next, according to the number of cylinders. Next, according to the arrangement of cylinders. According to the fuel supply system. And at last, according to the location of valves. So, let's see one by one briefly. So, according to the types of fuel used, IC engine is classified as petrol engine diesel engine, gas engine and biofuel engine. Petrol engine. In this type of engine, petrol is used as a fuel. Next, diesel engine. In this type of engine, diesel is used as a fuel. Next, gas engine. In this type of engine, the gaseous fuels like compressed natural gas, coal gas, biogas, liquid petroleum gas, producer gas is used to operate the engine. Next, last one, biofuel engine. Biofuel vehicles are vehicles with multi-fuel engines capable of running on two fuels. On internal combustion engines, one fuel is gasoline or diesel and the other is an alternate fuel such as CNG, LPG or hydrogen. So, in short, biofuel engines are capable of running on two fuels. Next, according to the number of strokes per cycle, IC engine is classified as four stroke engine and two stroke engine. First, four stroke engine. In this type of engine, one cycle is completed in four strokes. That means substroke and downstroke of the piston or two revolution of the crankshaft. Here you can see First stroke, suction, then second stroke, compression, then third stroke, expansion and fourth stroke is exhaust. Now, here you can see this is the direction of the piston movements during the corresponding stroke. Now next, in two stroke engine, one cycle is completed in two strokes means upstroke and downstroke of the piston or one revolution of the crankshaft. Here you can see. This is the two stroke engine in which one revolution of the crankshaft per cycle. Here in case of four stroke engine two revolution of the crankshaft per cycle. In two stroke engine, suction stroke and compression strokes both are during the upward movement of the piston and power stroke and exhaust strokes both are parallelly operated during the piston movement in downward direction. Now next, according to the thermodynamic cycle, IC engine is classified as auto cycle, diesel cycle and dual cycle. So let's see first one, auto cycle. The combustion of the fuel takes place at constant volume. Ideal petrol engine works on auto cycle. This is the ideal auto cycle on PV diagram. And here you can see the combustion of fuel takes place at constant volume process. Diesel cycle engine. The combustion of the fuel takes place at constant pressure. Ideal diesel engine works on diesel cycle. Here you can see the combustion of the fuel takes place at constant pressure process in case of diesel engine. Next, dual cycle engine. In this type of engine, some part of the heat is taken at constant volume and the remaining part at constant pressure process. Actual diesel engine works on dual cycle. So keep in mind that ideal diesel engine works on diesel cycle whereas actual diesel engine works on dual cycle. So here you can see 
some part of the heat is taken at the constant volume and the remaining part at constant pressure process in case of dual cycle. Now next, according to the method of ignition, IC engine is classified as SI engine and CI engine. So here you can see this is the SI engine that means spark ignition engine and this one is the CI engine that means compression ignition engine. So in case of SI engine, a mixture of fuel and air is entered in the cylinder during the suction stroke. Whereas in case of CI engine, fuel is injected into engine cylinder at the end of compression stroke. Next, spark plug is used to ignite the fuel whereas in case of CA engine, self ignition of the fuel takes place. Now next, according to the method of cooling, IC engine is classified as air cooled engine and water cooled engine. Now let's see first one, here cooling of the engine cylinder is done by air, that's why it is called as air cooled engine. In this, fins are provided on the cylinder, mainly used for light vehicles like scooter, motorcycle, etc. Whereas, in case of water cooled engine, cooling of the engine cylinder is done by water, circulated by a radiator and water pump. Mainly used for heavy vehicles like car, bus, trucks, etc. So here you can see air cooled engine having lots of fins provided on the cylinder. Whereas for the heavy vehicles, radiator is used in case of water cooled engine. Next, according to the mobility of governing, IC engine is classified as quantity governing, quality governing and heat and miss governing. Let's see first one, quantity governing. The quality of the charge that means air fuel ratio of the mixture is kept constant. But the quantity of mixture supplied to the engine cylinder is varied by means of a throttle valve which is regulated by the centrifugal governor. Example, petrol engine. So it is very simple in case of quantity governing, quantity of the mixture supplied to the engine cylinder is varied by means of a throttle valve. Now in case of quality governing, a control valve is fitted in the fuel delivery pipe which controls the quantity of the fuel to be mixed in the charge so that quality of the charge is regulated by movement of control valve. Example diesel engine. In short we can say in quality governing, quality of the charge is regulated by movement of the control valve. In heat and miss governing, whenever the engine starts running at higher speed, due to the decreased load, some explosions are omitted or miss. This is done with the help of the centrifugal governor. Example, IC engines of smaller capacity gas engine. So in short, we can say in heat and miss governing, when the engine starts running at higher speed, some explosions are omitted. That means we can say it is miss or whenever it is required is called as heat and that's why it is called as heat and miss governing. Next, according to the speed of engine, IC engine is classified as low speed engine, medium speed engine and high speed engine. First one, low speed engine. The crankshaft speed of the engine is less than 100 rpm. Example, diesel engine. Now in case of medium speed engine, the crankshaft speed of the engine is in between 100 to 250 rpm. They are used in large electrical generators, ship propulsions, etc. In case of high speed engine, the crankshaft speed of the engine is more than 250 rpm. Example, petrol engine. So here only you have to remember this 100 and 250. If it is less than 100, then it is called as low speed engine. If it is more than 250 RPM, then it is called as high speed engine. And in between these two is known as medium speed engine. Next, according to the number of cylinder, IC engine is classified as single cylinder engine and multi-cylinder engine. 
here you can see single cylinder is used and that's why it is called a single cylinder engine if the cylinder is more than one then it is called as multi cylinder engine so in this figure you can see there are four cylinder so it is called as multi cylinder engine so now you can understand in single cylinder engine only one cylinder is present and the power generated in the power stroke is used for functioning of other strokes of the engine in case of multi cylinder engine more than one cylinder are present as shown in figure b as per the firing order the power takes place in the respective cylinders next according to the arrangement of the cylinder ic engine is classified as horizontal engine here you can see in this figure the cylinders are in horizontal positions next vertical engine here you can see the cylinders are in vertical position next v type engine here you can see the cylinders are as like as v shape from the side view next inline engine this is called as inline engine also because of all the cylinders are in one line next radial engine here you can see all are in radial direction next opposed piston engine here you can see the pistons are in opposite direction that's why it is called as opposed piston engine next opposed cylinder engine and here you can see the cylinder are in opposite direction that's why it is called as opposed cylinder engine also next according to the fuel supply system ic engine are classified as carburetor airless injection and air injection engine so let's see first one in carburetor engines the fuel air mixture meets in the carburetor the mixture then goes to each cylinder through intakes next in airless injection method the fuel under high pressure is directly injected into the combustion chamber next air injection method is generally used in the large stationary and marine engines in this method first air is compressed through a high pressure then a blast of air is injected into the cylinder along with the fuel in short we can say in air injection method air is actually compressed and then injected in airless injection method fuel is under high pressure is directly injected into the combustion chamber next according to the location of the valves ic engine are classified as overhead valve engine and side valve engine an overhead valve that is known as ohv engine whose valves are located in the cylinder head above the combustion chamber so in this figure you can see above the combustion chamber valves are provided that's why it is called as overhead valve engine next a side valve engine whose valves are located within the engine block instead of in the cylinder head so here you can see the valves are in side of this engine cylinder that's why it is called as the side valve engine here also you can see the position of the valve so press the like button to appreciate this video thanks my dear friends for watching this video